This is Thomas from Train Fully. And this video, I'm going to show you a quick routine and a simple drill that you can do at home to improve the movement of your hips and help you get more distance and consistency into your game. All right, so a very common movement impairment I see in golfers is excessive lateral movement of their pelvis as they move through their backswing. And this would be considered a sway. Now, this movement here is a problem for three main reasons. One, it pulls us off the ball. And that means we have to compensate or adjust on the way back down. And this is going to add extra variables to our swing mechanics and probably make our low point inconsistent. So if you're having issues with hitting the ball fat or thin, especially with your irons, it could be because of this movement right here. A second problem with excessive lateral movement is it reduces the depth of our backswing. And that's because the lower body is not contributing to the rotation. And if I don't get contribution from my lower body and I under rotate, I don't get enough depth, I'm very likely to swing over the top, which forces the club head out to in and sets me up for a pull or a slice. The third problem with this excessive lateral movement is it reduces our distance. The majority of the rotational power generated during our downswing comes from our trailed gluteus maximus. But in order for our glutes to generate power, we have to eccentrically load them first. But what does that mean? Well, we can relate this to jumping. If I told you I want you to jump as high as you can, you would probably do this first. And at the hip, this is flexion. This is how we eccentrically load our gluteus maximus with potential energy. And then to recover that energy and convert it to movement, we do this, which is extension. So to load the glutes, we flex the hips, to recover that energy, we extend the hips. So if we want to add more power and distance into our game, we need to incorporate hip flexion and extension into our swing. Flexion into our backswing, extension into our downswing, and we need to incorporate those joint actions at the hip without changing our spine angle or shoulder plane. So I'm going to show you a, a quick routine that you can do at home that will improve the mobility and coordination of your hips, and then an easy drill that will help you incorporate that new athleticism into your swing mechanics. The first thing we're going to do is improve the flexibility of our hamstring complex with an active lateral hamstring stretch. Okay, so I'm gonna bring my hip and knee to 90 degrees, bring my knee across the midline of my body, and from here I'm holding on with my left hand. I'm just gonna extend my knee Hold at the end range for two seconds and relax. Extend, hold for two seconds and relax. And I'll do 12 to 20 repetitions on each leg. The second thing we're going to do is increase the activity of our gluteus maximus with a glute bridge. Now the setup is very important. I have my lower legs vertical, my feet are shoulder width apart, and my feet are also pointing straight ahead. They're not turned out, okay? Now I pull my belly button in away from my waistband and I push my hips up, keeping that belly button pulled in. I hold at the top for two seconds and then down for four, keeping my belly button drawn in the entire time. So up, hold for two, down for four, three, two, one. And we'll do 12 to 20 repetitions. The third thing we're going to do is enhance the coordination of our lower body with a single leg touchdown. Okay, so we're starting on our right side. We're gonna do both, but we'll start on our right side. Our left foot is just an inch off the ground. So we're only standing on our right foot. We take our right hand, put it on our right hip. Left hand, we're gonna slowly reach down, bringing our hand down towards our foot. And we're gonna to touch our foot if we can, and then stand back up. Now from the side, I'm keeping my spine straight as I push my hips back, okay? Chin stays tucked in. I'm going to slowly reach down, see if I can get down to that foot, hold, and up. So I'll take four seconds on the way down, four, three, two, one, hold at the bottom for two, and then up. And we'll do 12 to 20 repetitions on each side.
The fourth and last thing we're going to do is increase the firing rate or speed of our gluteus maximus with a forward hop to stabilization. Okay, so we're gonna start with our hands on our hips. We're gonna jump off our left foot and land on the heel of our right foot very softly. And we'll hold that landing for three seconds. So what I don't want you to do is land and then just pull back and stand up. That's not very challenging. I want you to force your muscular system to stabilize you against the force of gravity. Okay, so this exercise is not for the leg we're jumping off. It's for the side that we're landing on. Okay, so again, hands on your hips. Land softly on your heel. Stabilize. We'll do 10 repetitions on each side. All right, now the last thing we're going to do is use a simple drill that will help us incorporate our new athleticism into our swing. Now I'm gonna use a couple alignment sticks. If you don't have alignment sticks, you can use a couple broomsticks. One goes on the ground and you stand directly over it so that it's about midway between your heels. The other alignment stick, you're gonna take one end, put it into the ground, and the other end into your belt buckle, okay? Now what we're gonna do is make a full rotation into our back swing. You don't need a club, we'll just put our hand on our shoulders. We're gonna make a full rotation and see how these alignment sticks stay lined up. What we're trying to fix is this lateral sway. If we sway, we'll know because this stick will move behind the one on the ground, okay? So we need to keep these sticks lined up and this is where our new movement comes in. We're gonna push our trail hip back and bend our front knee as we rotate and monitor and make sure that these sticks stay lined up. So hands on your shoulders, make a full rotation, look at those sticks, make sure they stay lined up, and just practice this movement here. Just grease the groove, and this will help incorporate our new athleticism into our swing. Now this improves our swing three different ways. One, it keeps us from getting pulled off the ball, which means we don't have to compensate on the way back down, and we're probably gonna get more consistent low points. Two, it improves the depth of our backswing because our lower body now is contributing to the rotation. And three, it's loading our trail gluteus maximus with potential energy so that we have more power and more distance off the tee. All right, so what we've just done is used a proven algorithm that Olympic athletes use to improve their performance. First, we enhanced our athleticism with targeted flexibility and activation exercises. Then we used a simple drill that helped us incorporate that new athleticism into our sport. Now the next stage would be to head to the driving range and start greasing the groove. Start reinforcing that recruitment pattern into your swing. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.